that All right, now that we have got the iOS 18 with some brand new customization features on the iPhones, my question is, would you prefer switching from a Samsung Galaxy phone to an iPhone if you have been waiting for these specific features? I'm asking this question to those of you who love customization and those of you who have been waiting for these specific features on the iOS. And what are those specific features? I'm going to discuss the same in this video and quickly compare them with the Samsung Galaxy Phones One UI 6.1. And you make sure to leave a comment about your thoughts about the customization features now we have got on the iOS 18. Now let's quickly take a look at the quick panel on the Samsung Galaxy Phones and the control center on the iOS 18. You see now on iOS 18, we get multiple pages. We can just swipe up on the control center, but we have a media page which shows the fully blown media player. And then we have got another page which can be customized to set a different uh, toggles here. And they actually look pretty cool. Now what's more interesting is on the top right corner, we also have got the power button like the Android phones. Now this has been there on the uh, Android phones for a while now. Now we have got the power button on the iOS where we can uh, turn off the phone directly from uh, here on the quick panel itself. Now coming to the One UI 6.1, we have got the segregation of the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle right on top. And we have got all these toggles at the center which can be customized. And we do have pages like how iOS has. You see, we can swipe towards the right or left to add more pages and add more toggles here. And then we do have the display related settings here, eye comfort shield, dark mode and brightness bar. And then we have got the smart view option and device control settings. Everything is available on a single page here on One UI 6.1. And if you want multiple pages for the toggles, you can set it up right here. You can add as many toggles as possible on these pages here. Now to edit them on One UI 6.1, tap on the edit button and you can edit the top section of the uh, quick panel or the full section of the quick panel. I can tap on edit here. I can just press and hold on these toggles to drag it and add it to this empty space here. That's how we uh, customize it on the One UI 6.1. Whereas on the iOS 18, we can just tap on the plus button here. And uh, you see, we have got this add a control option at the bottom. I can tap on this to add more controls. All these are system related toggles that we have. We don't get any third party toggles here. We have got more toggles now compared to before. We can uh, add them right here on the uh, control center. Whereas on Android, we do get third party toggles as well. If you're adding a third party application and if there are any toggles associated with that application, it will show up right here and we can add them on the quick panel here. Now on iOS, we do have this customization uh, toggle. We can uh, drag this corner to increase or decrease the size of a particular uh, toggle or the switch. This is definitely very innovative. Uh, this is very nicely done on iOS, which is lacking on the Android phones. We can't really increase or decrease the sizes of these toggles. However, we can increase the number of toggles or decrease the number of toggles on the Android phones, especially on the Samsung Galaxy phones. We will be able to increase the number of toggles here. Now, if you want to move these toggles around on the control center, you can just and hold on it and uh, move it around. And if you want to remove it, you can tap on this top left corner to completely remove that particular toggle here. Now, likewise, we can swipe up to customize the next page. You see, we have got this uh, media player here. I can uh, drag this uh, or shrink this media player to this size, any size that you want, or you can leave it as it is, you can cover the entire page here, which look beautiful as well. If you're into music, then you are going to love this particular feature here. Now that's how we customize it on the iOS now. And looks like this is pretty cool. It looks actually nice compared to the Android phones. However, this is subjective. You guys let me know what do you think about this feature. Now when it comes to the Galaxy phones, we do have additional settings here. We've got quick setting instant access option. And then we've got brightness control options. And then we've got device control and media output button option right here. Now that is the comparison between the quick panel on a One UI 6.1 and the iOS 18's control center. Now in the next part, let's cover uh, the icon customizations. Now finally on iOS, we will be able to move these icons around. We can just press and hold on it and uh, place it wherever we want on the home screen, which was not possible before. Whereas on the Android, this has been there since the Android's introduction. And this is a very basic feature which has been available on the Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. And now this has arrived on the iOS, which is kind of funny because this is a basic requirement of any uh, mobile phone users. We definitely need control over the home screen and now iOS has enabled this feature. Now that's not it. If you press and hold on the empty space here and tap on edit, you see we've got customize option. I'll just tap on customize. 
Now we have got the icon customization for the iOS as well. Whereas on the Android icon, icon customization has always been there, especially on the uh, Samsung Galaxy phones, we do get good lock options, which enables us to customize the icon sizes. We can add third party icons from the Play Store and we can change the colors and whatnot. You can do a lot of things on the Android as well. Let me first show you the iOS uh, icon customization here. You see at the bottom, we have got uh, the color options automatic, which will set the dark or the light uh, mode automatically, depending on the system preferences. Then we have got dark mode. Right now the icons are in dark mode. I can tap on light mode. This is the light mode, which was uh, there before. And then we've got tinted option, which is pretty cool. Now this is a very well executed feature. You see, I can uh, select a particular color or or tint for the icons and I can increase or decrease the intensity of that tint. This looks pretty cool you see I'll just set green here and I will increase the uh, tint here. You see this is how the icons would look and it looks pretty cool. Now let me just uh, tap on home screen. You see all the icons have got the tint. There is not a single icon which did not get this tint and this has been an issue on uh, the Android phones. Let me just press and hold on the home screen. I'll tap on uh, wallpaper and style. Now here we do have the theming options, the color palette option. When I tap on that, we get this uh, color palette application for the icons as well. You see, we have got apply palette to app icons. I'll just enable this and apply this. Now what happens is, this applies the color palette to the uh, app icons as well. But when you see the third party icons, it doesn't apply it to these third party icons, which is a bummer on the Android phones. And now Android is also working on this and uh, it looks pretty good on the Pixel phones. But on Samsung Galaxy phones, when we apply uh, these color palettes, it doesn't uh, get applied on the third party icons. Whereas on the iOS, it is getting applied on the third party icons as well. Now, personally, I don't prefer this tinted uh, icons here. So what I'm going to do is I will just tap on edit, customize. I will keep the dark mode on here. I uh, like this dark mode option. And one more thing I forgot to mention is the icon sizes. You see, we have got large icons. Here, the icons will lose the icon names and the icons would look bigger. You see, this is how it's going to look. And there is no icon names. And it's uh, kind of difficult to figure out which icons uh, these are. So we will have to uh, keep the icon names on. So let's uh, get back to the smaller size icons. I will select small. And now you see we have got the icon uh, names here. Now here, let me uh, remove this color palette as well. I will remove the color palette for the icon and apply. Now these are the default icons. Now when I press and hold on the home screen and tap on settings, uh, we get to choose the home screen grid option. We can select from five by uh, four by five, four by six, five by five and five by six. And we can even customize this. We can increase the number of uh, grids on the home screen using the good lock application. Let me show you that. I will uh, just cancel this. I will go to a uh, good lock application. Here I will tap on makeup and I'll tap on home up module here. Now you see, this is an advanced customization for uh, the home screen on Samsung Galaxy phones, which enables us to further increase the grid sizes. You see, when I tap on home screen grid, we can increase it almost up to seven by seven. Let me just cancel this. And we can also uh, customize the app screen grid, which can be increased uh, to seven by seven. And the favorite max count also can be increased. I have set to seven. The favorite max count is right here. I will just set this to seven here and tap on apply. Now you see, I can add more icons right here and I can I can have as many as seven icons right here at the bottom. Now that's uh, the advanced customization we have got on the home screen on the Galaxy phones. Now, apart from this, we also have options like loop pages, find out access, background blur control, background color control, which we have seen in uh, my previous video. So there are tons of customization options on the Samsung Galaxy phones through the good lock modules. Now, apart from doing this, we also can customize the folders. We do have folders on the iOS as well, uh, but we can't really customize them. Whereas on the Android, uh, whereas on the Galaxy phones, we can customize the folder grid, folder uh, icon grid, screen grid, and then uh, the background colors, we can customize the way we want it. And if you want to increase the size of the icons on the Galaxy phones, we can do that. We can tap on home screen here. You see at the bottom, we've got this app icon settings. We can tap on that to increase or decrease the size of uh, the icons here. You see, we have got this icon size bar up to 120%. We can increase it with the name, whereas on the iOS, we cannot have the name of the icons when we increase the size and we only get two size options on the iOS 18. Now, I'm sure you know how powerful the customizations are on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, another new feature on the iOS 18 is, let's say, for example, I will press and hold on the clock here. 
You see, if the app is associated with the widgets, we get the widget options also here. I can uh, increase the widget size here to this. You see, now the clock application has been converted into a widget. Now I can press and hold on this again and I can decrease it to uh, the app size itself. You see now it is an application icon. Likewise, let's say I want to press and hold on calendar widget here. I've got three different options. I can increase the size of this particular widget. You see it has been increased. Now I'll do this again. I will tap on the third option. You see this is a very large widget that we get now and I can reduce it to the app size here. As you can see, this is the calendar widget. Now, likewise, I can do this on the notes as well. Press and hold on it. Here we got four options. One is the icon size and three different widget sizes we get for the notes. Now, this is very well executed on iOS 18 and these features are kind of unique to the iOS and uh, uh, the execution on the Samsung Galaxy phones is completely different. If we want to uh, add the widgets, we have to press and hold on the home screen, tap on widgets and then add the widgets here or we can press and hold on an icon here. Let's say for camera application, I'll press and hold on this and we get widget options here. We can tap on widgets. You see the associated widgets will show up. Just press and hold on it and drag it on the home screen. This is how we add widgets on the Android phones. Let me just press and hold on the internet browser here. You see we got widget options, tap on widgets. Uh, the associated widgets will show up right here, press and hold on it and drag it on the home screen. Whereas on iOS, press and hold on the icon. If there are any widgets, it will show up right here. Just tap on it to uh, convert the app icon into a widget. So different executions, you let me know which one is better. Now, apart from this, we do have the lock screen customization here on both the iOS as well as Android. Let me just uh, lock the phone. I will double tap on the lock screen. You see, we have got uh, the lock screen wallpaper here. On the top, we've got clock. Uh, then we have got these widgets on the iOS 18 and uh, the One UI 6.1. And we do have notification options here for notifications on the iOS. We swipe up to see the notifications. Whereas on Android, you can just tap on that icon to see the notifications here. Now to customize the lock screen, we just have to press and hold on the lock screen and unlock the phone. We get the customization page right here. Whereas on the iOS, we just have to tap on customize. Now here we can uh, customize the lock screen as well as home screen. I can tap on the lock screen here. Now this is where we start customizing the lock screen on iOS 18. Now the customization options are almost similar. We can tap on the clock to change the colors. We have got different clock options here on the Samsung Galaxy phones. And if we want more, we can use the lock star module on GoodLock to add more clocks here and set them up on the lock screen. Whereas on the iOS, we don't get to choose the clock designs. We just get to choose the clock fonts and the size of the font and the color of the font. Only those options we get on the iOS. And here at the bottom, you see we have got these toggles on the iPhones. Earlier, we could not customize these uh, toggles here, but now you can just tap on these toggles, remove them and tap on this plus button to add the toggles here. You can see the, uh, you can add the one you want. I'll just add camera for now and I'll add the torch for now. So now we can customize this on the iOS 18, whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phones, we always had this customization. We can tap on this. We can add any system related settings or we can add the third party applications here on both these sides. Now this doesn't stop here on the Galaxy phones. We have got a good lock module called Lockstar using which we can add up to about six applications on the uh, lock screen. We can just tap on a button to access six different applications or shortcuts right from the lock screen, which is a very advanced customization option we have got on the uh, Galaxy phones. Next, we do have uh, the frames option here. Uh, we can select the frames uh, on the lock screen and this is there on the iOS as well. We can add a portrait wallpaper on the iOS to get the depth effect here. Then we've got FX option here on uh, the uh, One UI 6.1. We can slide towards the right here. You see we've got different effects here. We get almost about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, different effects. Whereas on the iPhone, we get about four different effects you see here. We'll also be able to change the colors by tapping on this colors icon. You see, I can set any color that I want for this wallpaper. Uh, basically, it's the tint of the wallpaper which is changing. Now, this is the original one. Let me keep the original here as well. Now, let me just go back here. Now, to change the wallpaper, we can just tap on the wallpaper icon here. Whereas on the uh, Galaxy phone, we can tap on a uh, wallpaper option here and select the wallpaper that we want. So these are the customization options we have got on the lock screen. We do have an advantage on the Samsung Galaxy phones with deeper customizations because of the good lock options. And all this while good lock has been available in some of the countries, but now it looks like Samsung is going to release good lock in almost all the countries because they are releasing the application on the Play Store, which we have already discussed in one of my previous videos. Now, this was a quick comparison between the iOS 18 versus the One UI 6.1 on the Samsung Galaxy phones 
with respect to the lock screen, home screen, and quick panel. Now you guys let me know what do you think about the all new features on the iOS 18? Will this make you switch from the Samsung Galaxy phone to the iPhones considering these customization options on the iPhone? Drop a comment. I'm sure there are so many other features which Android uh, does offer and iOS doesn't, which I will discuss with you guys in the next video. That's all I want to share with you guys. Make sure to leave a comment and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. And if you're interested in the wallpapers, I will have a link for them in the description. Go ahead. Every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper. Download it. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.